Three months after one of the most difficult days in the history of the men's national team program, Canada has taken its first step in a long-term rebuilding process with a training camp in Scottsdale, Arizona. Former Canadian captain Colin Miller has taken over the senior head coaching job on an interim basis, and Miller is pleased with the way the players have performed throughout the first four days of training. On Sunday, we had a, a big meeting on Sunday. Uh, I asked them or put some demands on them from the start in terms of their attitude and their approach to the game, uh, to both games. And it's been very, very positive and I'm very, very pleased with, with uh, how we've approached every training session. The guys have been a joy to work with. Canada will take on Denmark on Saturday before heading to Houston for a clash with the Americans on Tuesday night. And with the team coming up against high quality opposition, Miller knows that any success for Canada will start with a compact defensive shape. Well I think organisation is key for us uh, in the Denmark game and also the, the US game down the road. Any player who puts on a Denmark strip is a quality player. Uh, we understand that, we know that already that's a gimme for us going in. So what was really important for us was our defensive organisation, our approach this week. When we won the ball, as soon as we win the ball, we have to have a, a get out, if you like, and we've worked on that this week in training. And the guys, I, we believe, have a, a good understanding of what uh, the demands are from the staff. Canada has assembled its youngest squad since May 2006, and more so than simply focusing on results, the Canadian team is looking to expose its young players to the standard of the game at the highest level. I think we have to give our younger players as much exposure to this level of football as is possible. And if you can do that on a regular basis, then all of a sudden, it's when you go into the Lions Den of Azteca Stadium and so on and so forth, the players aren't overawed by that. There's a they, they understand what it's about. That's why these games are here for for to see who's going to rise to the occasion, who's going to capitalize on the opportunity, and um, you know I'm looking forward to it. For a young talent such as Kyle Becker, there is a simple desire to perform well if and when called upon. Being my first uh, time with the full men's national team, it's it's amazing, and uh, I just want to do as much as I can with it. And whenever, if I get some minutes, then the perfect. I just want to show what I can do and uh, work hard, and hopefully, we can get some results. As Canada looked to rebound from one of the harshest defeats in recent memory, there is also a focus on reinstilling some of the core values that come with playing for your national team. I think it's important for a guy like myself to, to, to be involved in the national team as much as possible to, so I could share with a lot of these young guys, first of all, our experiences, um, what, what they're going to be faced with, and not only that, but your, um, the pride and the passion um, when you wear that badge and, and what that badge means and, and represent your country, what that means. Well, we said right away that I, I will take very little fluff uh, on any of my teams, whether it's with the national team or whether it's with FC Edmonton, whatever. Um, and by that I mean that if, I, if I'm selecting Dwayne De Rosario, I'm not expecting him to go into a tackle that one of my back four players would go into, but I am expecting that player or the player in that area of the park to be someone that is aware of the role that they just don't let people run past them and say, oh, it's not my job to do that. I don't accept that in any way, shape or form. Early on, at least, it seems like the message has been well received by the up-and-comers. We just have to be focused, be disciplined in what we do and just fight for it. Canada's match against Denmark will be streamed on Sportsnet's website at sportsnet.ca and full post-match coverage will be available on Canada Soccer TV.